So I was working as a temporary secretary for an advertising agency. And so um, the makeup artist said, um, oh, I'd quite like to make you up, if that's all right. Would you mind? So I said, no, oh, be my guest. And then they took a picture of me and they said, oh, who's this? And my boss said, oh, that's Annabelle, the girl who just brought the tea in. <laughs> Um, and they said, oh my God, well, let's, let's use her. These are, these are great. Oh, yeah. And that sort of set me off. But then I became a TV presenter and so mm. on and so on. You know, so it's just absolute luck, really. It was so nice to hear how people got to where they are today and their take on things as well. Not anyone else is their own. Mr. Manuel, yes, it's the press office from Buckingham Palace here. Oh, right. Um, we're about to announce um, tomorrow morning after lunch, that you, you and your wife have been officially asked to design the wedding gown for her Lady Diana Spencer. Marvellous. I mean, that's probably one of the most famous dresses in the world in history. So, uh, that's a big deal. The longest royal train was 20 foot. So I said, let's make it 25 foot. She goes, oh, OK, fine, and blushed. <laughs> she always went bright red when she was kind of embarrassed 25 foot okay you know it was the wedding of all weddings watched by 800 million people around the world oh, wow. so just a few people you know david started as a young man and and mo started as an older woman and so it was kind of nice to see you know look when you start something it's because you fall in love with it to me still the beauty is is that there's no age there's no age to start i suppose i was about 50 and um, my brother Gary Oldman decided to write a film and direct it. And he said, uh, Mo could do this. I said, leave off, I ain't no actress, leave off. So he said, we'll just come back and have a go. So I went back, had a little read, and he went, that's exactly what I wanted all day, you're doing it. Can you tell us what the film was called and Nil why it was mouth. so important? Nil by Mouth. Yeah. And if you've never seen it. I recommend oh, yeah. it. I can't wait. It's not something you want to watch to cheer yourself up. No. I think we'd agree that. But it is a truly <clears throat> whack Brilliant. you around the face, unforgettable film. Beforehand, I was a driver and worked in betting offices. And if I hadn't have done that, I'd have still been in the betting offices and driving. <laughs> a sport's different. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really get into swimming to be famous or whatever, but. They um, do now. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, my parents just put me into lessons when I was four years old as a normal yeah. kid, just wanted me to have water safety just for on holiday so they could read their book. Yeah, it was really cool to kind of see how, you know, someone can go from, you know, just loving swimming as a kid to becoming the number one um, in the world. <laughs> I was like, swimming along. <laughs> and I got to 400 metres and I was like, I'm ahead. Where's I'm ahead. Else? I was like... I'm winning, I don't like this. I was like, oh my God, I was like getting paranoid because I've still got 400 metres to go. And, but I always look for my coach. Every single time I swim, I breathe and I look for Bill straight away. What does he do? Does he show a face? Yeah, or? he usually, like, if he goes like this, if I, he, he go the, to kick or pick it up or he does signals to me. And it's the first time I've just saw him and he's like, flapping. <laughs> what is he doing? That would have been me. I was like, what is that? But I just carried on, carried on. And then I finished. And I turned back, uh, I obviously, I kind of knew I had won, so I was like, what's the time? And me being blonde, I turned round and saw WR, and I went, what does WR mean? <laughs> not realising <laughs> it was world record. I just could not believe it. I was in so much shock that I'd got the world record. Great story, the races. Great story.